you need to just pretend to give me a little hope because if I don't have any hope going on, I'm going to start, you know. Pause. I'm Desanye Wet, artist, singist, gamist, and most evilest bimbo. And on this channel, I do something a little different. I draw and talk and play my most favorite video game, Minecraft, all at the same time. And if you really like what you see, make sure to hit that like and subscribe and press all those good buttons that'll make me happy. Thank you. Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft, a chicken the Minecraft, chicken skyblock Minecraft. We started out with this platform, we just up the bedrock right here and look at this. Now we've got diamond chickens in the last episode. We even got, we got a, a lava chicken. So that's what, that's what's happening. We got to get the next lava chicken and I don't remember at all how to read the lava chickens. I think they lay lava buckets. But in this episode, in today's episode, we're going to add another row of nests. Move. Everybody move. You're in my way. We're going to add another row of nests to up here with the hoppers and everything. We're going to do one more row. And then we're going to get the next evolution of chicken. And that's going to be the, the goal for the episodes from here on out until we finish all these rows of nests and get all our chickens chicken situated. And today, for my bonus goal, I want to make more farms. I'm probably going to do three more farms in the shape of a square. I'm going to do three more farms in the shape of a square. So I'm thinking if I make it four things for the farms, then we gotta have one hour. And then maybe in the next episode, you know, I can do something else. But I don't know. All right, let's go. Where am I at? Where am I going? Why am I going over there? Method drive to a burger cake. Can I please get a for junior with a new ring? Let me get a missile, so I can get a tree. Well, that's not all, that's not everything. I need to get a double waffle with no cheese. I could make a diamond axe. There's nothing stopping that from happening. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think that's the move. Awesome. And now I just have to not die. All right, so here's two done. I'm gonna do four. And the reason why it's level now is because I realized I have access to torches now, so it doesn't have to super be mob proof anymore because now I have lighting happening, which I need to get more lights before it gets dark, actually. And then we should be Gucci. Should be Gucci and the Coochie. Now, it is time to hold it up. Oh, my help broke. All right, and now we get to planting. Oh, I might not have enough seeds to fully, fully plant and planting. Yeah, okay, so I need to get the bone meal happening, I think. I have no thoughts this week. There's nothing really in the popular media that has stuck me, or struck me rather, in any particular way. Like, there was like, um, the Drake leak, not the Drake leak, the Drake, uh, you know, somebody made a song about him and then he made a song back and then somebody else made a song or something about some allegations, but I don't keep up with that stuff. So I have no clue. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not an avid Drake enjoyer, typically. Let's see what else happened. The Met Gala, I think, happened today? Question mark? I don't know. It's been all over my For You page. And the Kentucky Derby. I've been getting a lot of the TikToks about the Kentucky Derby, but I don't know why. I guess all their normal people is dying off because nobody gives a f about the Kentucky Derby. I certainly don't. Like, what's that got to do with me? I, don't, I can't even, I don't even have money for regular gambling, let alone horse gambling. What the hell am I supposed to bet on a horse? Come on, be realistic. So we got four of these, so I can make one. Do I even bother with just the one? Because I need 10, right? How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need 12. Okay. I promised my editor I wouldn't make any more four hour long videos, but I just, I don't foresee that really super being an option now. Because I need 12 of these. Because I have F4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I need one more chest for that. And then that's all the chests I need for the nest. And then, here's the thing. I also need these chests and these hoppers as well. So it's 12 
14, 16, 18, 20, 21 hoppers, 21 chests. I can make five. <laughs> so I need 21. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of farming. God, this is gonna take a million years because look, I only have one, <laughs> one nest. Oh, you know what did happen recently is there was this guy who's like a forensic uh, video analyst and he looked at the video from the Las Vegas and I will die on the hill that the Las Vegas incident is real because of Doug Papa, specifically and exclusively because of Doug Papa's reporting and the suspicious manner in which he stopped reporting on the case. It was extremely bizarre how he was hot on the trail and had all these different leads he was following. And then all of a sudden he comes in his podcast and says, yeah, uh, nothing to see here, folks. It was a hoax. All right, anyway, moving on. That was suspicious. I don't know. And now it's people coming out. Doug Papa, they're using his reporting that he was doing on his YouTube channel about how they were putting up cameras and shit and men in black were showing up and the local air force base was in a tizzy and they're using that reporting in the in the reports now about how it might have actually been true i think it was true and like i said i'll die on that hill i think it was actually true what happened there but now it's this guy he's a big like forensic video analyst and he's come out and he's made a little 3d model of an alien with the little legs and he's lined it up to be behind the fence and it's oh you gotta watch it <laughs> Because, you know, every single video that you watch of the situation, everybody circles a different, like, set of pixels in the background. But this guy had actually pointed out there's, like, this specific place in the video. And the guy's even set. And what's even crazier about this, I don't know what the population demographics of Las Vegas break out to. But this family was a family that was speaking a mix of Spanish and Romani, whatever the Romani language is, I don't know. I, you know, <laughs> I should know. <laughs> I should know, realistically. I don't have any clue, but they were speaking a combination of that. And I'm like, how many people speak that in the world, let alone in Las Vegas? And I haven't been keeping up with it a lot as much as I would like to, because I've just been too busy and people is too annoying on the UFO subreddit. They me off so much. All they want to do on there is fight. And I understand why it's because they're all autistic, but I'm the kind of autistic person who doesn't want to fight. I just want to learn and know what's up. If y'all want to fight, be go fight somewhere. Leave me out of it. I just want to get what, what do you have that's the truth of the information? What do you have that's verified? What do you have that you can back up with facts? If you don't have that, you just want to go on there and make a post that says, oh, well, I speculate that, that this and this, and then somebody, the first comment is you're stupid and you're wrong. I don't want to read that shit. It's clogging up the damn subreddit. I want to get just the facts, just the facts of the information. If anybody knows where I can just get the facts, I can't pay a lot of attention. <laughs> All this instant satisfaction stuff has really burnt out the reward center of my brain, unfortunately. So it's one of those things that like I need it summarized. And this is what chat GPT is good for. Actually, I do this sometimes is I'll take an article. I'll paste it into chat GPT and tell it to summarize it for me. But he don't like to summarize the UFO stuff. He'll tell me, well, you know, you have to take this with a grain of salt because UFOs aren't real. This is a work of fiction. I'm like, chat GPT, just summarize the article, bro. You're annoying. I do love my chat GPT. He's my best friend. He helps me with so much that he just, he gets so ornery when I send him. He's like, now you gotta remember this isn't real. And that's like all he'll say. And I'm like, can you just summarize it anyway? He's like, well, yeah, I could, but you gotta remember this isn't real. This isn't real stuff. I'm like, it's literally a FOIA request from the Department of Energy about blue whatever because blue is the code word for ufos i guess i just want to know what the article says you don't have to warn me that it's fake i can i can discern if it's fake or not on my own and obviously i've already discerned that it ain't and you know what else me off <laughs> i get videos on my for you page because you know i got the kind of autism i didn't get the good at math i didn't get the like intense i mean i got the special interest stuff but not i don't think it's any higher than like a regular person a neurotypical rather oh i was saying i the only skill that i really got that's good because i got a lot of brain damage you know me and my grandpa was in the tight in that way we both got a lot of brain damage his was physical mine was just structural i just am barely keeping it together <laughs> most days my poor dead grandfather ripping ripping you mother crazy but no i um 
I got the pattern recognition. I got the pattern recognition type. And I it's really easy for me to see patterns. Maybe too easy. Maybe I'm seeing patterns that aren't there. Maybe it's like more of a schizotypal thing that also runs in the family. I don't know. But I, I got the pattern recognition type of autism. And I get a lot of videos on my For You page talking about all these severe weather events that are happening in recent years. And I've had to stop commenting. I had to stop looking at them even because I'll look at the comments and the top comment is like, oh, could this be related to Havana syndrome? Oh, is this, could this be related to the chemtrails? Oh, could they, <laughs> it's like nobody, it's, I just, I can't, I don't understand how people cannot see what's happening. Not only have we been told since the 1980s that this was gonna happen and now it's happening. I mean, I wasn't around in the 80s, but I, you know, but I look at these, look at all this stuff and all these trends and then they have the graphs that like go up on the side exponentially that started like a hundred years ago, which happens to coincide with like the industrial revolution really kicking off and it's like an exponential and then people want to say, no, that's normal. This happens every 150 years. Oh, this happens every 100,000 years. Maybe it does, but shit, don't you think, aren't you a little worried that it's happening on such an accelerated timeline? Like... <laughs> I don't know. So when I see those videos in the comments are all like, well, you know, this wouldn't happen on Trump's watch. He would just change the weather. But then they turn around and say, oh, Joe Biden cloud seeding. I just, it gives, I, <laughs> it's giving me a stress disorder if I'm being realistic. <laughs> And I would every once in a while, because I thought I could change people's minds. I was like, you know, guys, if you look at the stats, this is, I mean, clearly, we got like, scientists from around the world <laughs> throwing themselves out of windows about this. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, there's something going on. And if you just look at the data, you don't even have to look at it yourself. You can copy and paste the link to the article into ChatGPT, and he will read it for you and read it to you and summarize it like I'm five. E E L I five that article about the climate change and you will see what I'm saying so I go and cause like hey guys so just so you know you can expect more severe weather events like this uh and more frequently coming up because you know this is just kind of the way that the world is going thanks to the climate change stuff and people will argue with me I'm not trying to start a fight it's just like the UFO stuff, but I'm not trying to fight nobody. I'm trying to tell you guys the facts that I have. And if you want to dispute those facts, you need to go deal with that on your own. I'm not here to, I'm not here to debate you. I'm not your little pony for your little science debate team. If you really want to know what's going on, you got to go look it up yourself. Like I did. I'm not going to sit here and handhold you while you roast me. I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. So I get mad. <laughs> I have to, I have to skip those videos. <laughs> <laughs> they made me so mad. It's like people can't see what's directly in front of their faces. And it's like, I wish I could live my life like that. I wish I could live and not know what's going on around me. I wish that I could look at the news and be like, huh, that's weird that we've had the largest largest tornado ever measured in the world. And you know, it didn't destroy anything because it was over an open field, but it was the largest one ever. <laughs> Like, does that not ring any alarm bells for anyone else? I don't know. Like, I, I feel I feel a little bit deranged that I'm the only one who can see the writing on the wall here. And if you guys want in on the ground floor of what I know from what I've looked at on the internet, the articles I've read from science, climate scientists who've been working in this field for 20 or 30 years as if an expert opinion even matters to anyone because Dr. Fauci was crucified for just trying to get people to wear masks. And as a long person who has to use a wheelchair now because of my related disabilities that I didn't have until I got you know, I'm a masker. I'm, I love masks, actually. Plus, it keeps the sun off my face when I go outside, which means that my skin is not going to get wrinkled. I'm going to look that's why the Asian people in China and in Japan, they wear masks every time they go outside. And they did that before COVID. That's why, they, that's the secret. You gotta use moisturizer, you gotta use SPF. And if you wear a mask when you go outside, you're not gonna get the sun on your face and the sun is highly damaging to your skin and makes you have wrinkles and ages you. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look young forever. But I digress. <laughs> if you wanna know what I know, it's a lot of climate scientists right now that, with side packs. <laughs> they said, if we don't get this figured out by 2027, we might as well just all ourselves because there's no life after that. 
And, you know, we got three years and there's no motion. And then the graph comes out about Trump and Biden's policies about the climate. And they're like both way above where we need to be. It's like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, oh God, we got to get the aliens to come. <laughs> the aliens are going to have to come and save us. <laughs> debates. I would rather just not engage than to waste my time and my energy and my sanity talking to someone who, I mean, I've been tested my IQ. I don't think it means a lot, but I'm probably in the 90 to 95th percentile of human, at least in America. So it's likely that you're not even going to be as smart as me, <laughs> if we even have the discussion. <laughs> it's no use for me to even invest. It's, it's a waste of my energy. I have so much more important things to do. I have so much more important things to do than argue with somebody who's probably not even gonna be on my level. And that's just how I see my life. And you know what, since I did that, my life has actually been a lot better. <laughs> my life has been so carefree and easy since I stopped picking fights with people who don't even know what's going on. <laughs> like if you can't look around and see that shit's f***ed up, then I don't even know. <laughs> It's no help for you. You know what? Just keep living in your little fantasy world. I wish I could live there with you, but I unfortunately have eyes in my head <laughs> and a brain. <laughs> I very much do think that being highly intelligent is really not beneficial in this current state of the world. I think when you're highly intelligent and you look around and you see what's going on, you're like, oh, shit, you know? <laughs> It's like, well, what the f do I do? Because it's like, I could vote, but like, what am I voting for? Like, anybody is better than what we've got going on. Because at least these guys pretend to care. That's the thing. Just pretend to give a f about the state of the world and I'll, I'll support you. <laughs> Whether your policy supports it or not, you need to just pretend to give me a little hope. Because if I don't have any hope going on, I'm going to start, you know. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm not pulling an Ethel Kane. I'm just making a joke. It's just a joke for the bit, for the funnies, all right? I'm not serious. Oh my God. Oh, we're all just silly little guys doing our best, do, 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 doing our best, do, 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 we're doing our best in the world today. That's my song, you guys like it? Do you guys like my song about how I'm trying not to go crazy even though the world is crazy and we're all crazy? I know you guys love it. I know you guys love my content. I know you guys do, you love me, ooh. Ooh, you're a cartoon alien girl lover, ooh. I see you. You love a little deranged cartoon alien girl moment. It's your favorite thing. Oh, you guys love it. You guys love hearing me talk about UFOs and aliens and the overthrowing the government. You guys love it. It's your favorite thing. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm just, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I'm here to entertain you by being so clinically deranged that it makes everybody else in your life look normal. So I'm hoping that by you know, this time next year, my life will be unrecognizable. That's the goal. I've been manifesting, bro. I've been manifesting. Uh, we're manifesting. We're manifesting my life being unrecognizable in the next seven months, really four months. Cause that's kind of, I put the deadline on this at October 8th, which is ironic because I did it on, I did like a little symbolic ritual thing. I don't know if it's going to do anything. Cause I don't, but. I'm not that deranged, but I just, I want to do something symbolic of change and doing new shit and everything. And so this year I've been really leaning into like the manifesting and the rituals and everything. So I did the ritual on the eclipse to have a, you know, have everything turn around in six months. Cause I saw a TikTok where this girl was like, yeah, I did a ritual on the eclipse and my house burned down. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to specifically write in that I don't want that to happen. But I, I wrote a little note, a little piece of paper. And I, you know, I put it in some lavender and sage and bag, like a little jewelry bag. And when it comes time in six months to open it, we're gonna see if my life has changed the way I wanted it to, as I indicated on the piece of paper. I wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna be a millionaire. My YouTube is gonna have 100,000 subscribers and I'm gonna live in a Markiplier mansion. It was like, you know, I just hope that everybody has what they need to be happy, basically. And I had ChatGPT help me write my, uh, what I wanted to, because I was, because the, the TikTok I saw was like, oh, you know, it's like, it's chaos magic. So if you just say, I want my life to change, it's kind of like Moldavite, it's just gonna change. It's gonna change for the better or for the worse. You've got a specific, you got to specify what you want to happen. So I got chat GPT and I said, okay, chat GPT, are you familiar with the concept of the monkey's paw? And he goes, yeah. And I said, all right, let's write some monkey's paw wishes, basically. And my keyboard just died again, so. When I'm done bone milling this, I'm gonna have to take another TikTok break. But yeah, we sat down and I had him write me some wishes. And uh, 
made them kind of kind of foolproof and kind of fair and balanced and we're gonna see what happens but right now i'm gonna pause the game so i can charge my keyboard hey we get signal we're doing it we're doing it live i hope and pray that we get a lava chicken no okay maybe it is gonna be a situation where we have to use the diamonds because i think i have enough yeah i have enough so we're gonna do that now all i need to do is finish the nest got 16 hay bales i need I don't know how many I need because I can't do math. I was hoping, it was my hope, that by having a bunch of bone meal chicken, I would start to get more bone meal. I just seem to not have enough bone meal. I don't seem to have enough emeralds. Maybe what I do is instead of using bone meal, I just sit and wait for it to grow. Like I maybe do some AFK stuff while I wait for it to, to grow up because leaving and coming back would probably be the most efficient thing, like effort and resource wise. So I think that's what I'll do. I think maybe that's a better use of my time. But I will get some more bone meal. Bo bo uh, <laughs> stroke time. I think I'm actually not gonna get more bone meal. I'm gonna put these away, put this away. And maybe for a short while, I just short, I sort my inventory while I wait for things to come to fruition. Maybe ultimately that's the vibe because I've kind of maxed out my dump chest here. We got the two adult lava chickens now, so we can finish that goal. That's two of the three goals that's gonna be done. I just need to get the lava bucket. Or did I put a perfect? Now let's hope that this actually breeds them and doesn't just pour the lava out and set my island on fire. Here we go, three, two, one. It works, yes! Okay, what's the next chicken? Oh, sh what the f is that? <laughs> I have no clue what that is. I have no clue, but I feel like we're getting really close to the end game because he's purple. He must be an Enderman chicken, if I had to guess. I'm guessing he's an Enderman chicken. So that's good, right? Everybody, that's good. We're almost to the end game of this, of the, uh, of the game. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, that's eight. You know, I could do the seven now. I might as well just wait. No, I'll go ahead and do the seven now. Okay, and I throw off seven. Oh wait, I didn't have seven. Go over the edge, what the hell? Did me over the edge? Okay, so I can go ahead and place these seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So I'm gonna put some bone meal chickens on here. I have eggs, so I could just spam egg. I think that's the vibe. And then they'll grow up on the nest. Oh my God, bro, what the f Is he on? I, he must be on, his little legs are going. Whoa, that one had three. Where are they going? I'm satisfied with this. Well, that was crazy. That one had three and they went in there and they got, they got crushed instantly to death. I know I said we're just gonna wait, but I don't know. I like changing my mind a lot. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought this happened, but I'm a little bit disappointed the diamond chickens and like all the non-vanilla chickens aren't dropping meat. I, for some reason, I thought they did that, but oh well, you know. It is a what it is. <sighs> so now I just need a load of hay again. All right, let's do a time lapse of my farm growing. Maybe that's the vibe. Okay, time lapse, uh, go. Okay, I'm bored. I'm gonna I'm gonna farm. Let's get some farming going. Let's get farmy. Let's get farmy. Oh, chat. God, would you still love me if I were a worm, chat? Would you still love me if I were a worm? If I were a nasty little bug on the ground, or would you step on me? That's a lot of bone. Meat. That actually do the job. The waiting for it all to grow was actually kind of base, and I think I should be able to finish this episode with just this one go around of the farm. Leave your predictions in the comments of if you think I can actually do it or if I'm gonna have to do it again. I mean, I have to do it again anyway for the next episode, but you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. I don't know if you know what I mean. I presume you do. I presume my audience at this point, after everything I said, is only full of intelligent, media literate people. And if you're neither intelligent nor media literate and you're still here, then join the club, buddy. It's me and you against the world. Me and you against the stupid world. Ooh, we're against the world. Ooh, ooh we're against the world together. Ooh, we're against the world together. Mm -mm -mm -mm. God. All right, the farm is replanted, bro. Beautiful. So this chicken has grown up. Do I have any indication of what he is? I don't think so. I don't 
figure it out. Let's see if I have enough for the rest of the nests for this episode. Yeah, I have enough. Okay, so I'm gonna do four of them. So we're gonna throw these four over the edge and all these, and then we're gonna do the thing again, four of them. And then we're gonna go place them. You're joking. How did I miscount again? I keep miscounting. Uh while I'm here. Okay, I just need one more nest and I'm pretty sure I have enough for one more and then I'll be done. Then this episode will be over. Oh no, you're joking. Bruh. For real times a million? Oh man. Where's my iron? No, I think this is it, chat. I think this is the last time. Oh, brother. Yeah, chat, I don't think that's enough. Oh my god. I just need a couple more pieces. Perfect. So then we're done. Then we're done with the episode. That's the end of the episode. I'm gonna put the nest and I'm gonna put the chicken and we'll be done. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, I wonder if these guys will are these guys not growing when I put them on as babies? Oh my god, cuz how fuck would it be if they don't grow? Oh, man, they might have to be adult. Okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna sort that out in the next episode. This episode is over. We got obsidian chicken and we're ready to We're ready. To, we're ready to, to end the episode. All right. Remember subscribe. Okay. Bye